All right, guys, I'm here to talk to you today about the bank head bounce. If you're from Georgia, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, hopefully, if you're from the Southeast, you know what I'm talking about. So we're, it's the bank head bounce. We went to the Bankhead National Forest and, uh, and gravel grinded 100 miles away. Um, it was a loop, uh, a loop route. Um, lots of fun. Uh, we saw a lot of sights. We started in Moulton, Alabama. Uh, we worked our way down to the Southwest and we had lots of stops along the way. So for this trip, we're, we're a couple of trips in here. Um, we've done the Tally Tango. We've gone down to um, Spreewell Bluff. We did some stuff out the Silver Comet. But a lot of those trips are just, you're trying to cover miles. And I see a lot of other bike packing trips where people are just trying to cover miles. So what we wanted to do on this trip was, we wanted to ride our bike, but instead of just focusing 100% on riding the bike, we also wanted to do, see some sights. You know, when you're looking on these websites and you see these bike packing, these epic bike packing videos, you see all the huge mountains and everything. But we're in Georgia, in Alabama. There's obviously none of that going on. The first place we stopped at was called Kenlock Shelter. And what Kenlock Shelter is, is this gigantic rock indention cave. If you were out west, you would call it an alcove, but it's on this edge of a cliff and inside of it, there, it's almost like a gigantic cave and you can hear water dripping down and in the back of the cave, there's a little tunnel. It's really, um, it's a neat little spot. It was first used, or known to be used by the Yuchi Indians and later by the Cherokee. So the site is, um, has a lot of history, but it's relatively little known. There's not much traffic going up to this area. It's a pretty neat stop for um, a bike packing trip like this. Um, you know, the, the caves were awesome. Uh, we got to bushwhack a little bit um, at the top of the caves, find our ways back to the trail. Um, shortly after that, we got to stop at some waterfalls and see those. Uh, it was great. I'm talking, you know, three-tier waterfalls just coming down. There was kids out there playing, um, but overall the trip was a lot of solitude. Um, you know, we camped out uh, that night, um, about 50 miles in, um, and uh, you know, just by a creek, it was really nice and calming. You could hear the water going by. It was cold. We were in early May, so you know we saw temperatures in the mid 30s at night. Uh, but we were prepared, and it was nice. Um, the next day, uh, we hopped on our bikes and, and finished uh, going on our route. We we even included a little stop into a little town to grab some food, um, and then just continued on. Overall, it was a great ride. Uh, the Bankhead Bounce is the name of it. Uh, I definitely think that you guys should go check. All right guys, so one of the things I wanna stress is that if you like camping, you like adventure, some cycling, I think you should just get out there and do it. Um, you know, we, we started off with uh, just uh, minimal things, you know, whatever we had laying around for camping and, uh, and made it work. You just strap this stuff to your bike and make sure it doesn't go flying off when you're going down these gravel uh, trails and, uh, and then, you know, you just buy some gear as you go. But um, if, you're, if you're second guessing it, I think you should just give it a shot, just get out there and do it. This trail in particular uh, was great. You could do it with minimal stuff. Uh, if you started your uh, the route around Addison, Alabama, there's there's some uh, restaurants there to grab some um, you know breakfast or dinner. So you could really take minimal things. We had to pack kind of heavily on this one. Um, if you've seen on our our, our bikes, uh, we had to load it down just because of the cold weather. Uh, you know, normally in May, I think you'd probably uh, tackle it with minimal gear. Um, and like I said, if you actually geared your trip to start around Addison where we had a, a little lunch break included in there, um, you could do it with minimal stuff.